Hello and welcome to RV Learning where we look stupid so you don't have to. Today we're doing front brake pads and rotors on the Mazda Miata. It's a 1996 Mazda Miata NA Mazda Miata MX-5. First things first, we're going to crack loose the, uh, well first you want to jack the car up on jack stands because you got to take the wheels off. Then once you're done doing that, crack this 14 millimeter butt nut loose. Try not to smash your fingers because that never feels good. There's also another 14 millimeter. Is this one big? Some of that. 15 millimeter on the bottom. 16 millimeter on the bottom. 17 millimeter on the bottom. Where's that 17? Jeez, Louise. Alright, I'm gonna bust out the big gun. This is why it's nice to have tools. I don't know what kind of animal tighten that last. We uh, probably want to keep that in. We'll get the pads out. So, just want this loose, but still in place. Take this 14 millimeter out all the way on the top. That's your top slider. And then we can slide the caliper back to get at our pads. Just move on our pads, get those out. And then we will undo caliper completely. I'm gonna put the top slider back in at 14 millimeter. Slider is free. Check the... Okay, that's a lot smaller. Two 14s, because we need, we need access to getting the rotor off, because we're freshening up the old rotorino. So removing the caliper itself. It's two 14s. All right, let's set that aside. All right, I think this is just a nature's uh, Loctite situation. So we should be able to give this rotor a couple taparooskis. Yeah, and she's free. So I didn't even need to take that little hubcap thing. Thing my Jagger out. Well, we'll leave it out just in case. I'm going with the Rock Auto Special here, their uh, performance package. All in was like 100 bucks for rakes and pads and rotors all the way around. Heard good things about it. People doing track days with them have no issues. down I can put the rotor on and then none of this junk will be in the way to get the um, get the piston compressed so I'm taking off that 14 and that uh, 17 slider and then we'll put the 14 mounting brackets and then we just have to remember this will go like this because the, uh, the 17 was down towards the bottom so we'll set that aside put our rotor on Put this bolt through. Not this caliper here. You're gonna want to clean all the dirt and grime out of this uh, gasket with some brake cleaner. But to give you an idea of how this presser thing works, pick a plate that fits like so. So I'm going to spray that off with some brake clean, and then we'll compress it. You're going to want some high temp grease for your uh, slides and the backs of your brake pads. Alright, now we can compress. Alright, and it stopped, so we can back it out. Get our pads in. springs 
cheek pads off the rotor. And also just generally make assembly more challenging. I'm gonna put my uh, 17 millimeter one on first. Slide some of that grease on there. Nice and vicious, nutritious. Get a little grease on the back of the pad. A little grease on the back of the pad. And grease up our 14. All right, so now everything's got some high temp grease. We've got a clean rotor. Torque everything down and then do the other side. And then I'm gonna also do the rear. Same process, basically. Get some fresh food in there and hopefully this thing will rock on Crown Rally. Stay tuned for Crown Rally. If it hasn't already happened, link in description.